This is a Hoover U4064, the Hoover Senior from the 1980s, the Plastic Senior. Oh, there we go. This one I've had for ever such a long time. It has never had a cable on it all the while I have had it. It has some issues. I don't even know if it runs. So, today we're going to have a look at this quite rare vacuum cleaner, see if it works and see if it's worth refurbishing it. Oh, what am I joking? Of course it's worth refurbishing it. Just need to work out how much of a sod that's going to be. So, let's have a look. Hello my vacuum cleaner chums, how are you today? Yes, this turd looking vacuum cleaner in front of us is one of the rarer ones really. I know there's a few knocking around. I think this is before Hoover turned these plastic seniors, the Power Plus, which is what my dust cup is branded on. This is from 1982 and yeah, admire it's magnificent. I mean, it, it, it's going mouldy. This is what prompted me to bring it down from the loft where it has been for quite some time. And I did immediately realise that we do have a slight problem to deal with first. The zip doesn't work, and I always thought it did, which is quite worrying. This is compounded by the fact that I can't wash this bag. This bag cannot really get wet. This is the era, I think. I mean... I would like to be proved wrong, but a little lick of my finger and rubbing it there reveals that, yeah, the coating is just, it's, it's just going, look, you can see just, just based on that. So this can't get wet, which is a phenomenal pain in the bum, when I've now got to put something on the zip in order to try and get it moving. Now I'm using this stuff, which is very light, and also I can direct it very well indeed. So I'm hoping just get the zip and it'll be enough, we're going to have to vacuum this bag off. Of course, if the zip doesn't open, there's not much point in doing anything else, and you can only be so hard with these zips, or oh we might just have to leave that for a second. I think the best thing to do is to drip this oil gently all the way down the zip, and then we'll just take the bag off and come back to the main machine and hope that this moves. Oh, I'm not sure about this. This could be one of those machines that is a display piece only. Oh, for now, we'll just take the entire bag off and put it to one side and just hope that it starts to move. The zip itself is corroded to the bag. So, oh, have to get violent with that later, but can't get too violent, otherwise it breaks. Yeah, here is the bottom of the cable. Um, came from my good friend Richie, so who knows the condition of it, and I think he had to cut the cable in order to get it out of where it sat, so we won't read too much into that until we've had a closer look underneath, but yeah, here is the handle, all very nice, look, here is, if I put you under there, the, oh, off that cable, the quite mouldy, this one's made in Britain Bulldog sticker, that, that will probably be not survive and I don't particularly want it to either when it is so mouldy sadly there is a limit bar that yeah we have the flat handle design of the 80s hoovers you know the juniors all had it the seniors all had it time to look underneath at the brush roll and everything else because nothing's turning and obviously that could be the brush roll that could be the motor it could be the belt it might not even have a belt i don't know so yeah very familiar after the power plus we now have a plastic chassis on our oh, hoover senior oh, sacrilege although they do perform very well for their plasticness they just they just sound a bit different and yeah didn't last quite as well when they're actually being used rather than nowadays you probably get not too bad with them the average collector anyway right let's oh t 
take this off. And, ew! There is underneath our base plate. What the heck is this? Oh, right, everything's <laughs> this. Everything's fused together. Let's let's take the belts off. Oh, let's take the brush roll off. This is what I thought was a massive spider. I think it's actually a Christmas decoration. Maybe top of a top of an old old bauble. Um, let's get this away from my little flying rat. Chuck that down there. But luckily, our motor does spin. I mean, we're we're, we're gonna take the top off in a minute. But yes, our motor does spin. Yeah, this this, this belt probably would work actually. I might stick it back in, <laughs> see if we can get any life out of it. Oh no, the brush roll does turn. Oh, awfully, awfully soft bristles though, which is probably going to be a bit of a shame. But can't do much about that. And yeah, bar that, everything sort of really nice and filthy. We'll leave these off for now. And then we'll change to a crosshead screwdriver. And we'll take the hood off and see if there's any catastrophes awaiting us under there. That's not too horrendous. What have we got under here? Well, we have a lot of dust. <laughs> A lot, a lot of dust. We have the original suppressor, which we may just be bypassing quickly, or we might leave it in and see if it does explode. Probably more inclined to take it out. This thing probably hasn't been turned on for a long, long time. Do we have a working light bulb? Oh, we have a, we have a genuine light bulb. You see the Hoover logo? Is it? Is it dead? I think it might be. Ugh. Yeah, that's blown, I think. I don't know, actually. Yes. Yep, yeah, no, that, is, that isn't working, so we'll leave that out. Fair enough. Oh, that's a shame. And yeah, there's lots of graffiti all over. There's an A there, there's a D there. Oh, lots and lots of fun. Right, well, it spins. So one does believe that it's probably going to work what we should probably do now is just bypass this suppressor in the quick way which is just joining it together and the way that we're going to do this is i've taken the suppressor and its bracket off but put the screw back in and then on this side oh we'll sort of work around our wires we're going to cut this yellow bit off so that we have some nice room Oh, well, the purists are going to hate me, but that's fine. The wiring will probably change again after a refurb. This is just sort of a bar. No, it's white to black, black to white, really. And we're going to cut off the terminals on this side. Snip. We are going to get some heaty shrink. And slide that onto there. Then going to take these wire strippers, which somebody very kindly got me from my Amazon wish list. Thank you very much, sir and cut off these wires there we go and then we'll put a male connector on and then i didn't get my crimping tool out so i'm going to do that crimp that down and do the second one and there we go with a bit of heat shrink just to stop the live wires from touching anything yet we shall call that done sadly this bit of cardboard broke which forms a little chocolate box wiring cover but it sits there fine and dandy so yeah job done we're going to put the lid back on now because we can assume that it's not going to blow up upon impact oh look at that you can see underneath her bumper i'm trying to work out if it's faded you know and i don't think it is i think these were always a darker cream of colour. So I think that's going to be fine. We're going to flip it over and I'm going to pop the hood back on. Now the belt is where this is going to get interesting because it is I think a slightly thinner belt to the ones that I have. I went and fetched this one out of the cupboard which also has somewhere in it a cracking great big nick which is a shame because it is a genuine hoover belt in England. But it's too thick. It's for one of the older seniors. So that's a bit of a shame that it's so thick. There. I 
think I might super glue that back together. So we'll put that back in the stash. Then I went and fetched my brand new, genuine, but not original set. And I think it's, I think it's either too thick and it's going to be a problem, or the old one is stretched and it'll be fine. There is only really one way to find out. So I've just got this in from the shed and I might have to go make a cup of tea. Oh no, it does fit on. But is it going to rub on the top case? Ooh. Take this off. I think it might. This is going to be the problem. Oh no. We'll see. In use, this may be no good. This is the problem, I'm afraid, with old Hoover parts, especially on the seniors. A lot of people are going to know this. You can't find good belts. But we have a belt. I'm going to keep this one just in case because, hey, we might get a few turns out of it. Worst case, I'll keep it for now. But we're going to move on. Got to get some power connected. Now, on this style of Hoover Senior, the cable sits under here. Take off this cover, which also forms the carrying handle for the machine. And off that bit comes. Put that down there under a cover so the bird doesn't eat it. Yeah, all we've got to do now is just wire a new flex into there. And for a new flex, I went and got a beige coloured cable out of the shed. One with, oh, show your cutty cutty, a very nice WG plug. Oh, there, look, ready for us to clean up certainly what this machine could have had when it was new. We should probably, for safety reasons, because I don't know where this cable came from, check inside. Yeah, that'll do. It's all coming apart for washing anyway. Assuming this runs, and it's worth the fair machine, and not just selling for parts. We shall find out fairly shortly. Oh, and then all I've got to do... Is I'm actually going to chop the end off of this because it's going to make it easier to push through our top cable cleat and then yeah I'm going to wire it into here and there we go one new flex fitted sadly the old flex was probably the original that was on the machine when it was new but hey ho cannot do much about that right Ooh, well, we're either ready to plug it in or see if the bag's moving first. Um, let's check up on the bag. <sighs> no, it's not really doing anything. It's a bit of a shame. Oh, you can only be so brutal with them as well before you just rip the zip out. Uh, pliers, pliers. Let's try some pliers. Yeah, this, this, this could take some fiddling. I'm going to have five minutes, but the problem is if it won't come off like this, I might have to you know, take it off and wash it because it could you know, lose some what's already in there. Although there is a bag in it, I have noticed. There's a, a paper bag. I don't know how good it is. It's probably absolutely trash, though. So if we go inflating it, I'm then going to have a mess that I can't get to to deal with. Oh, what a pain. Oh! <sighs> It took some force, but with a pop, it came off. Now, the zip itself seems fine. Ah, can I show you that this is where it's been sat for who knows how many years? And I think the teeth on the zip are okay. It's just all the corrosion from inside the zip. So I'm going to get a brush and clean that off in a second. But we can have a look at the horrors that await us inside. And hey, look, it was a good job we didn't turn it on. Because the bag wasn't even fitted, but it's a genuine bag. Very nice indeed, and it's probably actually going to be okay for us to hopefully use 
now. In here, yeah, everything. I'm, I'm, I'm hoping I'll just get away with a good vacuum. I mean, it doesn't actually smell at all, which is quite nice. So, hopefully, and look, we can cut the cable tie and put that back on very nicely. So, I think we're going to put this bag in and actually fit it this time. Oh. And you know what? I may, I'm just going to put yeah this down for now until i've cleaned off all of that that'll do we know it works i've now got to try and clean this bit of oil off it it, it should evaporate it's why i use this stuff it's ever so light just have to put a lot on it to penetrate that unless i just dunk the bottom of the bag i don't know really i shall have to seek advice from those who know but for now we can fit this to the machine and turn it on and see if it's going to explode. Now, as usual, I have no idea if it's on or... In fact, no, it will be off, won't it? This one will turn on, I think, when we recline it. So, oh, we're going to have to get up close and personal with it now. I'll plug it in anyway, on shot, in case it does just explode. But, yeah, no, we're going to have to... Oh, Get closer than I like. Oh, hello. hoovers and they put everything in the flipping handle that ran okay i mean our belt seems to work well our brush roll works although it is quite soft let's it, uh, let's celebrate by cleaning the rug and we're probably going to leave it on it's quite high setting There is, there is not a lot wrong with that brush roll, especially on this. On its highest setting is better when forwards it you know can breathe and then backwards it just sucks in all the carpet. That is astonishingly good. Excellent. So hopefully this should be serviceable enough to use normally and to be able to be refurbished. I'm so glad we got the bag. There it goes. Look. All it takes is, oh, look at that. How lucky are we? Our bag works well. We'll get all that lovely oil. Still going to leave it above that bit for now, though. I'm a bit paranoid. And yes, this old girl works well once more. So, got ourselves a nice little refurb job to do on this machine. And yeah, the next time you see it, it should be working and looking as new. I say working as new, it pretty much sounds perfect anyway. If anything, it's the brush roll bearings doing it worse justice of all. So yes, there we go. So, have you ever had one of these plastic Hoover Seniors? If so, what did you think of it? And uh, until the next time, I and my one will see you soon. Bye bye.